Rick Dollar with NetRadioDogs.com, and uh, I have the honor of interviewing Mr. Ken Reagan. This is one of the uh, forefathers of what we have today that we call NASCAR racing. Um, Ken, uh, what exactly does today's NASCAR bring to mind to you when you either watch it on television or, or you see it at a track? Can you give me some idea of, of, of what you miss about it? Well, with my son David, you know, racing, uh, my family has been involved with NASCAR since the 40s. You know, my dad raced down on the beach at Daytona back in the late 40s, early 50s, and then with my opportunity during the 80s and into the 90s. And now with David racing, you know, our family is just happy with NASCAR. We stay tuned in. Uh, all three meals a day, breakfast, noon, and dinner at night. You know, it's it's racing around our table. We um, we're a NASCAR family, and and we certainly support this. There's there's a lot of things today that are different than they were back when I raced, and then certainly when I'd go with my dad. You know, back in the in the 50s and all. But uh, we watch the sport grow from where it's come from to what it is today, and we're just happy to be a family that's part of it. Exactly. Well, um, uh, ever since I started talking to you this afternoon, I've, I've, I've gained a renewed respect for NASCAR, just b- not because of the person that I met, but because I know where David Reagan and a, and a lot of those other guys have come from. Um, and I guess that's more of a personal thing, but uh, we want to uh, let everybody else know that uh, NASCAR is, a, is much deeper than what we see right now. What are... Uh, what are the most memorable moments in your career? Can you tell me? Well, you know, um, I got to race with a lot of the greats. You know, uh, of course, Richard Petty and Dale Senior and Cale Yarber and David Pearson. And, you know, it, it was just a lot of fun. Benny Parsons, uh, Daryl Walter. You know, the, the great ones in my mind. Who? Daryl uh, Walter? Yeah. Daryl and, and uh, <laughs> you know, Daryl made quite a mark up here at Bristol. We're on holy yes, ground he up here for Daryl. But, uh <laughs> But, you know, that was a lot of fun, and those memories will always be around. And, and I got to race when, when Big Bill, uh, Bill France Sr., right. was the head of the, the program. And then during that uh, early to mid-'80s, he turned the reins over to, to Bill Jr. And, right. and you know, that, that was a lot of fun, you know, during those days. And, and uh, I can remember, um, you know, a lot of the major changes that was put in place, you know. Uh, and, and then you advance the time on uh, – into the uh, the the mid to late 90s uh, when when the right. big sponsorship dollars started coming in and wow. um, and and the budget started increasing you know it it really made it hard on independent teams like I was to race and I suppose that's why you know in those early to mid 90s we we stopped running but then David was born and <clears throat> you know he uh, had kind of grown up in the race shops and and uh, and and was manic- mechanically inclined to, to take wrenches and work on cars and we started racing him when he was 10 years old. I had gotten involved with Mr. Wheeler Humpy mm-hmm. yeah, and was huh? working for Humpy uh, looking after his Legends car program uh, first at Atlanta Motor Speedway with Ed Clark and then five years later we moved with David up to Charlotte when he was 16 and. And, uh, you know, we were down in Atlanta. David was growing up uh, racing the Bandolero and the Legends cars. And Joey Logano came down from Connecticut. Uh, his family moved down. There you go. Tom brought him. And, um, you know, we had Reed Sorensen down there in the group. Mm-hmm. So we had a lot of fun during those days. Okay. And I tell you, watching those kids in the Legends cars, it, it showcased a lot of talent. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them from back in those days have – have uh, gained in experience and got in the late model and, and the ARCA series, the K&N series, and, and are racing up here this weekend at Bristol. Exactly. So that's been a lot of fun for us to watch, too. You know, kids like um, Chris Boucher, you know, uh, Chris and his cousin James both came out of the Legends cars, and even Dale Jr. raced mm-hmm. a Legends car in the early exactly. days. So, you know, you've got, um, you've got a lot of a lot of the, the young kids that have come into the sport has come out of that program, and, and, and I was so close to it that it's been fun to watch. Good deal. i tell you what, I don't know what kind of an honor you could think that it is for me to do this. Um, this is something that happened totally off the cuff. I did not have any idea I was going to meet you today, but uh, I will tell you this. You have made my life better. 
Okay? <laughs> you have. You've made my life better because uh, I'm a big NASCAR fan, and uh, I love NASCAR history. Just on a personal level, I, I, I know a lot of people that were in the business, and I know people connected with the business, and it's been just a tremendous honor to, uh, to talk with you today. Well, I appreciate that, Rick. I guess some good things come out of rain delays. You know, yes, probably they do. <laughs> had it not been a rain delay, I, I would have been out at the track, and you would have too. But uh, that's right. You know, uh, hopefully it'll clear off here in a little while. We can get to race in tonight. And uh, David said his car is good. He uh, good. he's ready to go. He likes Bristol, and uh, yes, he does. certainly he's uh, he's he's had a good opportunity. That was that was a uh, pretty honorable phone call that he got from the Gibbs team, you know, yes, when they sir. reached out to him a few yes, weeks ago. Sir. And Anytime you get a call from the coach, you're he's, right. he's had a lot of fun up there. But, you know, this is uh, – Mr. Bob Jenkins has always been great to David. And yes. and uh, this is Front Row Motorsports' hometown up mm-hmm. here, kind of kind of in their backyard uh, with Mr. Bob living down by Knoxville. And uh, I know he's got a, a, a room full of people up in his suite today watching. So hopefully the front row cars are – I have good luck. We're close to yes. Chris Bush, and we pull for Chris. You know, we're kind of excited at, with, with Chris driving the 34, and certainly David uh, Gilliland and, 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 and my son, David, are two of the closest, uh, you know, friends us in the garage area. So right. we, uh, we've we got a lot to look forward to tonight, and I sure hope it breaks off here and we can get in there and they'll get uh, get to race in. Yes, sir. I appreciate you talking to me. It's Rick Dollar with NetRadioDogs.com. And we have had a good afternoon. Thank you.